Now, despite signing of a security cooperation agreement with New Delhi on Monday, China's duplicity on countering terror has been badly exposed. China has once again refused to shift its stand on recognizing Pakistan-based Jaisi Muhammad Chief Masood Azhar as a global terrorist. Beijing has repeatedly blocked India's proposal in UN Security Council to designate Masood Azhar and that has remained an irritant in indo sina ties. Among other terror acts, Masood Azhar has masterminded an attack at an Indian Air Force base in Pathan Court back in 2016. Azhar was released in exchange for the release of 155 passengers of the hijacked Indian Air Play, Airlines plane in Afghanistan in 1999. On the issue of counterterrorism, China has been taking active part in the international counterterrorism campaign, and we make judgments in accordance with the merits and demerits of the matter itself. We would like to strengthen counterterrorist cooperation with India to jointly safeguard the regional peace and security. On the issue of sheltering United Liberation Front of Assam Terror Chief Parish Barua, Beijing claimed it maintains a policy of non-interference in other countries' affairs. India has repeatedly raised concerns of Alpha Terror Chief's frequent visits to China and smuggling of arms and narcotics to the Northeast. Uh, Indo. Regarding that, India requested China not to shelter the Chief of United Liberation Front of Assam. It should be stressed that China always upholds the principle of non-interference in other countries' internal affairs. This position remains unchanged and will not change. And to bring us more details on this news story, I'm joined back by our principal diplomatic correspondent, Siddhant Sibal. Siddhant, you know, despite the security cooperation agreement between India and China that just took place two days ago on Monday, China remains defiant in changing its stance on blocking India's efforts to list uh, Masood Hazar as a terrorist by the UN. And also, uh, when it comes to, you know, the issue of sheltering United Liberation Front of Assam's terror chief, Parish Barua, what do we make of this, especially in times when India is trying to warm up to China? Well, it seems uh, China stands uh, on uh, the issue of uh, terrorism, uh, especially when it comes to Masood Azhar, hasn't changed uh, uh, very much. If you closely look at the statement, uh, the key word was that we have reiterated our position uh, and their position is well known to New Delhi. And it said that we base our decision on merits, merits, of course, uh, only which uh, Beijing understands on uh, uh, Mr. Mr. Pra Pravesh uh, who has been known to uh, go to China many times. There, the last report suggested that he has come back to Nagaland. He is there in Nagaland. So it seems uh, China hasn't changed its stance uh, very much. Uh, we saw what happened last year. China uh, blocked the bid at the United Nations, uh, which was uh, backed by many Western countries, whether it's United States, France, uh, or Britain. It seems that. Um, China is backing its uh, all-weather uh, friend, which is, of course, Pakistan. And uh, they, of course, uh, uh, are usually together when it comes to coordinating, uh, coordinating India. When it comes to Masood Azhar and any other terrorist, uh, terrorism which is uh, emanating from Pakistan remains a contentious issue. And that is something that China is not uh, willing to back. We have seen how both India and China try to re-engage themselves, especially after that Doklam incident uh, last year. The Indian Prime Minister and the Chinese President have met uh, thrice in the last uh, few uh, months, especially starting from that big informal Wuhan summit where both uh, agreed for high-level visit. Only uh, this week we saw the visit of uh, the Security Minister who had uh, uh, signed a pact with the Indian Home Minister. A security pact, but it seems no headway being made uh, on the issue of terror. Right. The Indian Prime Minister and the Chinese President will be again meeting fourth time in 2018 uh, next uh, month on the sidelines of the G20 summit. But the big question remains that will uh, uh, Beijing uh, march when it comes to budge on, on the issue Absolutely, of... Absolutely, uh, Siddhant. Clearly, you know, the issue of terrorism remains the big bone of contention between India and China. The rest, of course, is coffee table diplomacy. Thank you so much for joining us on this news story.